You may not realize it, but you may be putting yourself at a disadvantage by overusing your video card. For many years, the general consensus among PC gamers has been, the more frames, the more power. Unfortunately, that statement is more true than you know. The more frames your video card is producing, the more power the video card is using, not the better your experience. You see, most people to this day still use 60 hertz monitors. This means that their monitors are only capable of displaying 60 frames in a second. So in this video, I propose that you limit your frame rate to the maximum frame rate your monitor can display. Here's an example of the video game, The Outer Worlds. On the left side, you can see the limited usage, and on the right side, you can see the full uncapped usage. You'll notice on the left side, I actually still have GPU power to spare for the rest of my system. However, on the right side, you can see that I've nearly maxed out all available GPU resources. Now, if all you were doing was playing a video game and nothing more, there was nothing else running in the background, that might be okay. However, these days, you might be streaming on Twitch or recording via OBS, and whether you know it or not, that requires GPU power. So, rather than have your system fight for the available GPU power, you could actually cap the video game frame rate to what your monitor can display, and the available power of the GPU can be used for other services. Here's another example, using Battlefield, you can see we actually gained some GPU performance back. And last but not least, the benchmark for World War Z. Now let me show you an example of something a content creator might be doing that would really require that extra GPU power. One such scenario, let's say you were a VTuber. Well, as you can see from my task manager, OBS Studio is taking up quite a bit of power doing composition. And uh, VC Face, which is a VTuber software, is taking up a little bit more power. So altogether, I'm using, on average, at least 28% of my GPU just to do this. Also, look, NVIDIA Broadcast is also taking up some GPU power. So if I try to play a game pushing my GPU to 95%, I'm not going to have any more power to drive these other programs, which is going to result in dropped frames and lag. Now, how do you go about limiting your GPU usage? Well, first and foremost, a lot of games, not all, but a lot, do have frame rate limiters in their graphics settings. Now, that's one way to do it. However, what we're going to talk about today is limiting your frame rate in your drivers and or using third-party software to do it. First, let's take a look at how to limit your frame rate if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card. The first thing to do is open your NVIDIA control panel. To do that, right-click on the desktop, select NVIDIA control panel. Now, click the option on the left that says Manage 3D Settings. Scroll down on the global settings list until you reach the option that says max frame rate. Now click where it says off next to max frame rate to open the options. Change the radio toggle from off to on and select your desired frame rate. From here, click apply to save your settings. And that's all you have to do to your NVIDIA graphics card to set a frame limit. To limit your frame rate on Radeon cards, go into your Adrenaline software, go into your global game settings, find where it says Radeon Chill, and enable it. From there, set your minimum and maximum desired frame rates and apply the changes. Last but not least, you can download the program called Riva Tuner Statistics Server. To set your frame rate in Reva Tuner, click where it says Frame Rate Limit and type in your desired limit. The changes should happen immediately. Make sure to select Start with Windows on top so that your settings reload with Reboot. Hopefully this video has helped you guys not waste valuable system resources. 
And as always, guys, if you like this video and you want more like it, do me a favor. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Fix It, Fix It, Fix It, and I'll see you next time.